exhibit which is really really interesting because uh, 40 artists probably the biggest group of artists that have come together to create a piece each and I love the theme is one one you know when you won you win so the first time I saw the cause is bigger than their names right so they all came for the cause where uh, part of uh, proceeds go to the charity and, uh, and, and, and the artists, you know, uh, part goes to the artists. So it's a voluntary, uh, you know, they came together voluntarily and it really helped, uh, uh, you know, the entire concept of Celebrate Colombo because we wanted to have the art industry, the fashion industry, the music and food. And the fact is that you see there's music here, there's art here and if you're on a street where there's food. So this kind of integration is something really interesting because that showcases Colombo as a, as a creative and a vibrant city. And that's what the main thing is. I want people around the world to know that, that this is the city we live in, which is so vibrant, which is so creative and see, you know. So, uh, so yeah, so this is what should go to the world. <clears throat> and we should we want them to celebrate with us, like how we celebrate in Colombo, they should celebrate with us, right? So, and we are back, right? And it's eight days of festivities. Today's day four, so we've got four more days to go. So far, by God's grace, is going well. This is my work, which is called The Golden Rule. And it's uh, the idea of the golden rule was con created by Confucius many centuries ago. And then the, the actual word, the golden rule, was, uh, put, uh, was again created by Charles Gibbons. So the idea of the golden rule is the idea of reciprocity. So that what you want done to you is what you do to someone else. You don't do to somebody else what you don't want done to you. And that has been used in all the religions of the world for centuries, of course. But it's also not necessarily that it doesn't have to be about a god. It's, an, it's a cultural idea of knowing that what I do to you is what I want you to do to me, right? So that I don't ever do to you something that I would rather not happen to me. So that is the idea that I've got in all the words coming in here. And the idea of the, the, the footprints is about the footprints and the marks we make on the earth and against man or to man. So that every step we make, every word we use has a mark, makes a mark and stays. And so that's really the idea that, that I'm playing around with here. I'm here for an exhibition. This is fabulous. There is no, there is no word to say more express these people, crowd of people in Colombo. So that is the simple introduction. I'm going to uh, explain about my work. So there is a two object I'm handling with my experience. One is the person, personal experience. The other one is the Sri Lankan politics. So when you think about that personal experience, which is connect with the natural disaster 2004 we had a tsunami so that one i i directly involved or i i i, I experienced that and the other one is a uh, weapons war in sri lanka 2009 i had a war i had experienced the direct war you know that tsunami the mullet we had the last uh, battle war end up these two experience i cannot explain explain mean verbally we cannot say it so when you ask, when people ask me, can you explain or can you tell me that uh, what was happening? How do you feel about that? I cannot say there is a no word to say that. Then I choose this art, brought it here, questioning about that. The life, what is the life? How we are living? Where we are living? So this kind of, kind of, I, I, can, I, I, I can call it kind of bad questions. So this bad question should be should be needed clear. So when you, when you call it, where are you from? So when you look at this painting, where are you from? Ask this painting, you cannot answering. This particular body, there is a no specific landscape, seascape, 
or country, ethnicity. Just think about the, this painting. There is no face identification. This body going through, flying through, swimming through, finding in a good place. That is end. So from what I can see, uh, CFW over the years has evolved from just being a designer's showcase to one of showcasing creative space. And this is one such. And I love the fact that we are seeing 40 artists uh, showcasing well diverse creative talent and also the fact that these artists are now exposed to um, the, the bigger canvas of uh, creativity where uh, people around the world will definitely see what they're, what they're uh, about and the messages of hope, the messages of unity, uh, the various messages that artists tend to bring out in their work. So I just wish all the artists good luck and the designers as well and good luck to RJ. He keeps going from strength to strength each year with CFW. First of all, thank you Colombo Fashion Week for putting on a great show. It's beautiful to see all these beautiful art and uh, having all these people come out so if you haven't seen it too bad hopefully you can come out and see it you have wonderful pieces of art like the one I'm standing next to and all the, you know piece behind me but please come out support the city uh, you know it's, it's safe they've done a great job come show your appreciation here we are at celebrate Colombo and as usual we are celebrating Colombo, one of the greatest cities in the world and a city that I just love being in. And it's Swim Week Colombo this year. Celebrate Colombo's in its fourth day. So we've been through wonderful art and literature and culture. And today it's all about art again. And in a gallery at the Park Street Muse, we are having a wonderful evening. I'm standing in front of one of my favorite artists, that's um, Sanjeeva Kumara, whom I'm very lucky to own one or two of his pieces. So I hope to acquire some more soon and come back to Colombo very often.